Here's how to cold start your nuclear thermal warship in oh 45 my. seconds. First, raise your control rods to increase reactivity All and add more heat to your reactor. <laughs> okay, no. Control rods, drawing them is a slow controlled process, not a speed boost on Mario Kart. More like starting up a jet engine. Next, turn up your coolant pump. The coolant soaks up heat from the reactor and circulates it through the ship to generate power. More circulation means more power in a cooler reactor. Now, So depending on reactor design, lowering core temperature can add a positive feedback mechanism, which does raise power, but that's not the primary way of doing it. Coolant flow is not your throttle. This would be a bit like saying increasing your PC fan speed is going to double your CPU clock rate. Use your radiators to cool down your coolant. They'll start to glow with infrared radiation. <laughs> Next. Okay, so in space, you would be dependent on radiators since you don't have an ocean or anything to act as your heat sink. However, if they start to glow red, you just made some sort of space microwave. So that's bad. And a good power gen balance so you can keep your radiators running. They use electricity and shut down if you run out of battery, okay. so don't run out of battery. Power balance is important. You do. Rip some control rods and dump coolant to maintain equilibrium. Oh, Bur horrible advice. So first off, control rods are not a little joystick you adjust up and down willy-nilly. And second off, dumping coolant is a loss of coolant accident. You do not want to do that to make any sort of adjustment to power or reactivity. That is one of the things you avoid. Your engine to maneuver and adjust your reactor setup to maintain a stable temperature as the hydrogen fuel cools the core. Last, start charging your weapon. Okay, that part actually describes a nuclear thermal rocket. Capacitors and get some recon satellites out. Now you're ready to rain nuclear fire across an entire sector. <laughs> so, if you had weapons like that, the chain would be fission, turbine, generator, then capacitor for your lasers or rail guns or whatever your futuristic sci-fi weapon is. A bit silly, but an interesting nuclear concept.